our melon and pumpkin farm is actually working now, as you guys can tell by the cleared area and the occasional slamming of pistons. <laughs> uh, it's pretty great. I'm pretty stoked to have this. It's definitely been helping out a lot, especially in terms of this sort of stuff. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty great. I have some pretty good tools now, and I'm pretty stoked about all of this. It's so good. My name is Saris, and welcome to my Let's Play. But on another note, we have 11 horses and 3 donkeys. And they're not sorted at all. They're just, you know, fast with the slow, high jumping with the short jumpers, and, you know, just the trash amongst the, the pleasantries. <laughs> If that, if that makes any sense to you guys. So I guess the first order of operations for this episode is to organize these guys, uh, sort them out, right? And the only way to do that is to make some way of testing how good these guys actually are. That's something I'm going to have to focus on. I actually don't know how to test this sort of thing. I'm going to temporarily set up an area to test jump height, because that is probably... One of the easier stats to test on. Um, I'm not going to go very in-depth with this one. Some people use snow blocks for a more precise method, I guess. <laughs> you know, because with snow blocks, or not snow blocks specifically, but like the snow slabs or whatever, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can stack them up in like 16th, I think, or something like that. So you can get a more like precise size measurement. But honestly, I don't personally care too much about that. I mostly just want to be able to ride a horse that jumps. I don't know, it's not very often that you run into anything that's not one or a half size like block, you know? <laughs> I think the only occasion is when there's snow around and in case you guys haven't noticed, I don't really, I don't hang out around snow very often. We don't need to do the one block, but we do need to do a half block. Like one and a half blocks jump. Two block jump, two and a half, three, three and a half, right? And it just keeps stepping up um, as you go along and it'll, it'll make sort of something kind of cool. Now I think the tallest a horse can jump is five blocks, but I'm actually not certain on that one. So I'm going to go five and a half blocks for the next one. And then I think I will also do another pillar that is six blocks tall, just to make sure. So the idea would be to uh, figure out how high these horses can jump. Now, I'm fairly certain this horse is only going to make it to this level. He is very bad. So that's a half a block. Like, that's one and a half blocks. So that's enough to hop a fence, and that's it. <laughs> I and mean, you really have to like get it good. Let's see if we can get a perfect. Yeah, no, he is not gonna make two block jumps. So already off to a terrible start with this guy, but he does kind of run at a decent pace. So that was an example of one of the horses. All right, now I'm gonna work on the running section, which is gonna be interesting to try and figure out. Um, but I'll be back when I figure that out. And we're done with it, okay? So basically what happens is there's a pressure plate on each side, and each pressure plate's power their corresponding piston, which pushes a uh, redstone block out of the way that deactivates this activator rail, which stops this hopper mine cart from pulling from this chest. It's a very easy, very simple thing. I completely ripped it from somebody to be honest <laughs> I watched how they did it and I just like tried my my best to recreate it without knowing what they used it took me a minute to figure out that that's what the activator rail was for to be honest but uh I guess while the sun is setting let's uh see how fast we our person runs because we all know how high we jump but how fast can I run so it's looking like 74 grass blocks <laughs> that's how fast we run we run 74 glass glass we run 74 grass blocks fast <laughs> i i don't know dude anyways let's try it on a horse right so i've got some some pretty good expectations that these guys 
will hopefully be faster than me. If they're not, I'm going to be very disappointed. But this guy feels like he's faster, so. He runs 39 grass blocks. Okay, all right. 39 grass blocks, not bad, not bad. But yeah, basically that's how we're gonna sort them. Okay, so what I'll do is put good jumpers and runners together, and then I'll put good runners, but bad jumpers separate. And then I'll also separate the uh, good jumpers, but bad runners. And I think that something like that would be pretty fitting. Yeah, I'm gonna put buttons on top of these pillars to prevent mob spawns. So the next thing I'll probably be doing is I'll run all our horses through this testing chamber facility thing and we'll have three different groups all right i got them all separated and let me explain the rankings so the good jumps i found were three plus blocks for the fast guys it's anything that moves less than 45 grass uh we only had one that was not a good jumper but did that and then for both anybody who can jump three or more blocks and runs faster than 45 grass. Finally, we have the wasteful existence horses. These things are unbelievably bad. There's one horse in this mix that only jumps one and a half blocks, only enough to get out of a fence. Next up, we'll probably work on some sort of stables area. That's probably gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna use a bit of spruce and quite possibly some dark oak, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I think I am just gonna go with oak and spruce instead of dark oak and spruce. All right, so I got the uh, layout set up for our stables. Um, over here is gonna be the donkeys. and It'll lead out to the tracks. I flipped the redstone, so now you come in through this direction and you leave that way. This is gonna be for mules, I would say. And then over here is gonna be horses. I guess let's start building. <laughs> All right, if you'll look at these path blocks, you'll notice that you can actually see one pixel of the side of another block. Now, this isn't really appealing when you've got a wooden wall on top of dirt. So what you can do to make that look a little bit better. Now, I'm not really a great builder or anything, but what I do is I'll just like place. You don't even have to put full blocks down. You can do slabs if you really want, but you can place those down inside the ground. And then when you make your path blocks, you'll only see wood. You won't see any dirt on the other side. And I think that makes it a little bit better. Like you can tell that I've been doing it right here, all along here, and then pretty much all along the back areas. All right, now that we got all that done, I'm going to spruce it up a bit, eh? <laughs> so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm gonna go for. I think I wanna eventually change all this grass into like dirt or coarse dirt, but it's fine being grass for now. So while that Saurus is over there building his silly little horse stable, this Saurus is over here telling you that, uh, check it out, I changed out this and also found out that my iron golem farm was already broken. It doesn't produce anything, the villagers are alive. Replace them twice actually because they all died. I tried getting them to reset their sleeping places. And then they all died again because they kept escaping and getting hit by the zombie in a boat. <laughs> it was a huge mess. And um, honestly, I'm not ready to take that on just yet. Maybe I'll fix it tomorrow, but yeah, that's what's going on with our iron farm. I might even make another farm. I don't know. But anyways, we're over here because I have realized something. And that's that we used the wrong fences on all of these. Yeah, now I have to go through and undo every single one of these. All right, I got all of them replaced now. <laughs> I just need to get this wall and we'll call her quits for that. <laughs> oh, buddy. You know, I kind of feel like what we can do here actually is probably set up a stairwell. Because look at this little section right here. It's perfectly too wide and it's not being used for anything, you know? And I can actually extend this wall out a bit if I want. And honestly, I think we could use a little more spruce in here and that would give me an excuse for the spruce. So... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, because I kind of like the idea of having a loft area where we store 
I don't know, like horse armor, saddles, maybe even uh, some other horse-related items, chests for the donkeys, I guess. I don't know. And we might even add on to this. We might have additional space for llamas or even camels. I doubt camels will fit in that stairwell, but we'll see. It's quite a large area, actually. I kind of like how spacious we are making this, because every time I've ever made uh, any sort of stables, I've always sort of just made it a little too tight on the inside, because uh, I was mainly focusing on the outside, but as you can tell, I, I'm i really not paying attention to the outside, really. It's pretty hideous. <laughs> Ooh, actually it could be cool, instead of connecting up right here, if it's on the outside and we walk in to our horse area, and then this is, we just walk in the, okay, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a tour of this very hideous building right in front of me. Um, but hopefully you guys can see my vision. You can come in through this way, and there's going to be all these stables over here and over here as well. And if you get yourself a horse or a donkey or a mule or something, you can take them out through this way and it'll be you'll be greeted by our little horse raceway to test the speed of your horse and as well as the height test. I don't think anyone will ever reach that height, but that's fine. This is kind of planned to have a little walkway all across the top. It'll just wrap around the whole area. There's a little stairway right here to get up here and you can walk around on here, look down at everybody. I have not done any lighting yet. Uh, that's going to be done a little bit later, of course. I plan on actually using some lanterns in this build. I think that will go pretty perfectly with the build. I guess let me know how you guys feel about it, right? <laughs> if it's looking that good. I do need to get on to some other tasks for the day, so yeah, I guess we'll see how long this video is. Alright, so I guess that is pretty much everything I have for you guys today. Unfortunately, I do not have time to record any more or finish this build in this episode, but hopefully by the next episode, we can in fact finish this build. It's gonna it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm pretty pretty excited to get this thing done and to finally move all our horses in here. By the way, please like and subscribe. That'd be pretty epic. And uh leave a comment if you feel like it. I don't know. <laughs> pretty pretty stoked about everything lately. My name is Saris and until next time. Bye. Oh, whoops. <laughs>